I begin by cutting the three sides of the Welpen box down to measurements. I will drop those down in the description below. Here I'm just cutting off the extra side so that all of the four sides, excuse me, three sides measure out to be four feet long and 16 inches high. Here I use my 90 degree corner angle clamp so that I can make sure that it is nice and snugly fit before I go ahead and secure it. This is where I made my first mistake during this whelping um, box DIY. I used um, one and a half inch screws with the T-star bit. Uh, however, I used a 532nd bit and this was way too big. So uh, from here, I had to change it out. I ended up using a 1 8 bit, but I did drill that first one with the 532nd and the screw pretty much did not get secured and that's how I knew it was too big. So um, you see me doing that here. And like I said, I am gonna end up removing that bottom screw uh, once I change out the bit and go in with just a smaller size here. And I put about five screws on uh, this side here to secure it all the way to the top before moving on to the other side. And I'm just making some additional cuts. So again, three uh, sides of the Welpen box will measure the same four feet by 16 inches high. And I did make an error with the second part here. So you see me lining it up, but not the same way I did at the first side. I'm drilling it into the side when I should have been drilling it into the back. So I did end up taking all of these screws out and making the necessary adjustments. So please don't do the same mistake when building your box. So again, um, you shouldn't be drilling in from the side. You should be drilling it in from the back. And I did correct that mistake before moving forward. And this is what I have so far. It is not secured to the bottom just yet. I just wanted to sit it down on that platform to make sure that everything was going smoothly. That front part of the box is going to be measured at four feet by 12 inches. We wanted to reduce some of the height in the front so that our bitch has uh, access to move in and out of the box. It is slightly a little high. I uh, probably would go just a couple of inches shorter. You just wanna make sure that front part is securing the puppies, not so much for your bitch, because again, you want to make sure that she is able to get in and get out of the box comfortably. So I'm just going to be securing the front here with three screws on each side. Once that's complete, I use these corner braces for some additional um, structural security. And I put two of them in each of the four corners of the box. And I was confident that they were secure. With a spare piece of two by four, I chopped down uh, four four inch high pieces of the two by four so that I can secure the pigtails on top of it. That is our boy Caesar. And that's Isha playing with her, um, I don't know what that's called, but she loves it. So again, now I am securing the bottom portion to the welping box and I'm securing it all around the perimeter, maybe three or four or five screws on each side. I'm using my circular saw to cut down the PVC to create the pig rails that you see here. And the pig rails just properly um, prevents the bitch from squishing the puppies. They'll kind of tend to crawl underneath that space and with her leaning up against the wall, it creates a space for them to sit comfortably and again, not get squished. So I did use a screw from the outside of the box and screwed it into the two by fours that you see here, just so they're nice and secure and that they don't move. Um, I will again drop all the measurements for the PVCs and the 90 degree elbows that um, I used to create this pig rail here. Once that was complete, it was time to move the whelping box into the home. Hey, you guys ready to try your new home? Come on, Sarah. 
and it is safe to say that Diamond and her puppies are enjoying their new digs. They're nice and comfortable. We've lined the bottom with some puppy pads just to ensure that they have some space to use the restroom. And of course, she loves her extra padded blankets.